All right, we're going out right now. It's like 90 degrees outside uh, and I've got an umbrella because I have adapted to the culture. All right, so what's going on guys? It's me, David Osborne, and I'm gonna take this time to introduce you to myself, I guess. So I live here in Taiwan. I've lived here for two years now and I lived in Vietnam for a little bit and a lot of other places around the world, but um, right now this is home. And, all right, let me, I'm crossing the street here. I don't wanna die. Sorry, I totally just realized I'm carrying my phone the wrong way. Let me say that again. I've had the privilege of growing up in what we would call white America and also black America as well. Um, my father was the pastor of a church, um, which was 90, 9% black and um, you know we did a lot of stuff in the inner city um, I went to school for the first year in the city Cincinnati um, before going to a a more suburban Catholic school that yeah I, I mean I was one of five black people in my graduating class out of I think 300 students anyways um, so I'm, I'm what you would call I guess black privilege. There you have it. This channel exists to share what little privilege I have with you. Um, I had both parents at home all the time. Um, I, my college was mostly paid for by my parents. I never had to worry about where my next meal was gonna come from or that I was gonna have to wear the same clothes to school for like every day of the week or something like that. I don't have that, that story. Um, but what I do have and what I do want to share with you all is mentors, mentorship from around the world, from different cultures, from here in Taiwan, living in Australia, living all around the world, really. But there's this book that I read back in high school and many of you have heard of it and some of you have probably read it as well. It, it's called Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And this book really changed me and the way that I thought about money and the way I thought about mentorship. I just feel like we don't have much representation um, by black people and young black people in this personal finance sector. So I wanted to put my spin on it and, and help, help African Americans and really help everybody. But, you know, I know that African Americans, we need it. Um, because a lot of times there's nobody else telling us what to do. And so I'm gonna be real honest and open about all of my information basically. And it's gonna get, it's gonna get awkward um, for me because I'm sharing information that nobody else knows. My friends don't know this. My best friend doesn't know this. And those, those are details about how much I make, where my money is, how much, how much I pay for things. You know, not everyone knows this and, and how I do things that I do. So I'll start by saying, ah, oh shit. Anyways, I'll start by saying I earn, hmm, let's see here. I earn around 24,000 US dollars a year. 24,000 US dollars a year. That's crazy. And I'm able to save out of that $24,000 something along the lines of 12,000 US dollars a year. Now, what's even crazier is that's not my only stream of income, fortunately. And I've been able to build up other streams of incomes over the years. And that's what I wanna help you guys do as well. Right now, mine are really small, but they do make a difference. So one of those streams of incomes is my apartment in Colombia. We rent this out. We've been renting it out for about two or three years now, honestly. And this brings in um, around a hundred extra dollars a month, you know, of money that I don't need. So it honestly just goes from there into my stock portfolio. And then the stock portfolio that I have, uh, I try and pick stocks that pay dividends. So then every quarter those dividends get paid out to me and I don't need that money. So then. I just let that sit and I let that um, buy me more stocks. So, so many little side hustles. Um, I, I have a book 
that I sell online that would make me a couple bucks every now and then. Um, but yeah, just like, I mean, it's passive. I'm, I'm sleeping and I earn some money. And I've done this all on a, a small salary. But living in Taiwan, I'll tell you in another video, I'm sure, um, $24,000 is actually quite a lot of money. Um, that's how I'm able to save half of it and still live a very comfortable life. But yeah, basically I wanna make this channel for you guys, help you, teach you. Um, I actually came out here to be a teacher. I wasn't just traveling and thought, huh, how can I stay in, you know, Asia? No, I was like, I specifically chose to move to Asia to get some teaching experience so that I could in turn turn around and teach uh, my people about personal finance. And now that I've been teaching for three years, I think I'm finally ready to to start teaching you guys about what what it is you should do with your money and financial literacy. I know it's not something we talk about very much in the black community. Whew. It's fucking hot. So obviously I'm sharing the way, but it's it's just my way. And I wanna share ideas with you and, and engage in conversations with you about different ways that you can, can do this yourself. Yeah, this channel is to educate you guys, to, to help you, to be, um, the big brother, the rich dad, the rich, the, I'm not the rich dad yet, but you know, to help you guys and point you guys in the right direction. So six months ago, um, I had zero dollars, or sorry, I had like $3,000, zero dollars, damn. I wish I had zero dollars because that would make a way cooler story, but I had $3,000 and six months later, I've got like $13,000 and I don't even know how that math really works. I mean, because I, as I said, I saved 12,000 a year, but I've already saved 10,000 in the past six months. And um, and that's just coming off of paying off all of my student loans last year. Um, so yeah, I wanna help you guys. I want, I want to engage with you guys. I want your questions. I wanna share with you what I've taken from the white communities and taken from the Asian communities and other communities around the world and, and help teach you guys and, and hopefully bring value to your life. Through this, I'm about to be dropping gems every single Wednesday about personal finance and and what it is to, to, to live a life of freedom. I choose to live here. Oh, hello. Yeah, this little high school kid waving to me. No, I choose to live here in Asia um, right now and in, in, in the past other countries because I love different cultures. I love learning and I love the freedom. You know what I mean? And this is, this is freedom, and I want you guys to have freedom as well. And I'm about to walk past uh, this, I don't even know what you call it, like, uh, beetle nut, beetle nut. It's like this chewing tobacco. So that's a little cultural thing for you. She was fine as hell. Anyway, cool. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time.